This is Twit. Okay, we need to talk about whether I can hold my cell phone up to my ear or put it in my pocket or not. Because am I getting cancer right now? So I have been saying for so long, I've probably even said on this show that there is no evidence that cell phones cause cancer or, a car or any health hazard. Uh, the World Health Organization put out an advisory last year saying exactly nothing. Like, we don't know, there's no conclusive evidence, but just in case, be careful, which I thought was really irresponsible. Because mm -hmm. if there's no evidence, there's no evidence. Well, now there's evidence. Uh, the National Toxicology Program, which is a, uh, a group of the National Institutes of Health in the United States, did a two-year study uh, of rats. Now, we got to say rats and mice, not humans. And they exposed the rats to the maximum amount of dosage, uh, of cell phone dosage. And the initial results from the researchers was inconclusive, that there wasn't, it was equivocal evidence, which is what we've kind of seen all along, which is, well, some of the rats got cancer, but rats do get cancer after a while, and we're not really sure it was caused by the radiation. But then, weirdly, in a review, a peer review, which happened last week, the peer review group upgraded the recommendation, which is not typical. In fact, it's, I don't think it's ever happened before. Normally, they either rubber stamp it or say, you know what, your methodology wasn't very good. We're going to downgrade it. But this time, the experts looked at the results, looked at the study. They said, this is a good study. It has some problems, but it's a, um, basically a very good study. And we think that at least in one case, the case of male rats, that there is conclusive evidence that radiation from cell phones caused heart tumors, cancers. So I still think, I mean, now they've passed these recommendations on to the FDA. The FDA is actually what's the, the government organization that will interpret this and, and then tell consumers. But I, I think I made a, you know, a promise to everybody that if any evidence did come out that was anything less than inconclusive or more than inconclusive, I would tell you. And that has happened now. Mm -hmm. um, there's, I'd like to know more. I, why did they upgrade it? Uh, see, there, there is this kind of feeling, this was what the World Health Organization did last year, there really ought to be a problem with this. We can't find any evidence, but there really ought to be a problem. And scientists, well, we don't want to take a chance, so just don't take a chance. Mm -hmm. But if there's no evidence, there's no evidence. And I'm worried that this may have happened again, that they said, well, even though the researchers, the people doing the study said there was no evidence or inconclusive evidence, we feel like, why take a chance so we're going to upgrade it? That's not the same. So I want to know more. Mm -hmm. um, they, they, they were exposed to a lot of radiation. The reason that I'm skeptical is that the kind of radiation coming off of a cell phone is what they call non-ionizing. It doesn't have the kind of energy, the energy level, to damage cells. So any that's why it's hard to prove damage because you can't see any evidence of damage. And the other thing to remember is <clears throat> that the power coming out of one of these devices or any device is reduced by the inverse of the square. So it goes down very, very quickly. As even a foot away, you're going to not even be able to hardly be able to measure it. So if you wanted to be careful, I would say don't carry it on your person. Don't really a bigger one is don't sleep on it. Don't put it under your pillow or put it. You laugh. I know. But people do that. Yeah, put it in maybe even another room, no, not no. for not Doesn't for cancer, to, but just well, for, for your reasons. own okay. sanity. But even on a bedside table, a foot or two away is sufficient because it, it attenuates so quickly as you get far away. Uh, this in this case, the rats were like radiated <laughs> a few feet away with the maximum dosage. I mean, it was a it was a pretty hardcore situation. Um, Maybe if you have kids, you would want to think twice about having cell phones. The other thing that concerned me a little bit, and again, I'm not a, I'm not a cancer researcher or a scientist, so correct me if I'm wrong. The guy who designed the study, who has retired, uh, the guy who designed the study said, um, well, just, you know, what I would recommend is use a wired headset. Which is exactly, unless I'm wrong about the physics, the wrong advice because the wire takes the radiation and puts it in your ear. Oh. So <laughs> I don't think a wired headset is the right answer either. So then that made me now suspect the whole thing, the whole thing. So oh. just, I, I think I owe it, we owe it to you to tell you that this res result came out. You could read the uh, review we just showed, Scientific American, but the courts also had the study. Uh, you could read it for yourself. Um, 
I don't want to be the person who says who represents the cell phone industry either and says, oh, there's no danger. Go ahead. Glue it to your head. <laughs> be, it's reasonable. You yeah. know, but now am I going to change my behavior? No, I carry it in my pocket. But if you're worried, put it in your briefcase, put it in your purse. Yeah, I mean, I've told my kids it's time to start keeping it in your backpack. I think that's good advice. Yeah. I think that's good advice. Um, and, and the reason why you say these things, like I promised you I would tell you, is that the tech press has gotten in trouble in the past or accused of maybe like hiding this because, oh, well, if we, we say a, cell phones cause cancer, then you're going to stop reading our articles. You're going to stop listening to our podcast. I'm not podcasts. worried about that. No, I know, but that's why you said that, which and you obviously are not part of that that you would say you know i'm not going to tell you i'm more i'm more concerned that uh about hysteria yeah, around fear. these things fear uh, also fear mongering and yeah. you know there's people <laughs> there's a guy he comes into our studio regularly and it really annoys me uh, who says wi-fi is bad for people mm -hmm. as he sits in our studio and uh and is is lobbying the local schools to take wi-fi out of the school i think that's a big hazard because having internet access is important for students mm -hmm. Uh, and so, and there's no evidence that Wi-Fi causes any danger. And again, that's because the, the base stations are distant. You probably wouldn't want to sleep on top of a Wi-Fi router. That's just sensible. Mm-hmm.